And today's video is all about my hospitality experience at Anfield for the Europa League game last week. Now I was in the Carlsberg dugout, I was in the cop end, um, although that only matters when it comes to your seat. Um, the lounge itself is all one big area so the Anfield road end and the cop end are all connected um, so it doesn't make much of a difference which part of the lounge you're sat in. Um, now, in this video I'm going to cover how much I paid for my ticker, what I got included with the ticker, um, my experience, what I thought about it, and then also what my thoughts are on if it's worth it or not. Um, so stick around for that. There's also going to be a giveaway in this video, so make sure you stay till the end. Um, so for me, it was a Europa League game. Um, obviously still in the group stages currently. Um, and for that, I paid £200, which is actually one of the cheapest times to buy a hospitality ticket is for these sorts of games. So £200 being the lowest it is at. It's still pretty expensive, considering the most expensive ticket in the stadium, just general, is £60. So, make of that what you want. Um, included in the ticket, you got to meet LFC legends that were in the lounge. Now, for me, it was Jimmy Case, Phil Neal, and Becky Easton, who used to play for the Liverpool women's side, which, for me, it was really cool to see women's players now being included in the legends, which... I'm all for inclusion in football so that is really cool and because when you're in a hospitality lounge you get a free program and um, I got them to sign the program as you can see now this is what I'm giving away so stay tuned to the end of the video to find out how you can win it and um, but yeah so like I said meeting legends and some of them Phil Neal like that's probably is the biggest legend you can get at Anfield he won so many things at the club he's the most decorated LFC player when it comes to medals um, so that's really cool now going on to what else is included your food all your food was included now in the Carlsberg lounge it is a sort of street food style stall set up um, and basically you can just keep going up and helping yourself to what you want there's people serving you right behind stalls and um, when I was there being a man this menu changes every game and um, when I was there there was lamb and chorizo stew there was sea trout beef burgers fe Thai veg curry a beetroot gnocchi and a banana cake now for someone like me who's a very fussy eater that wasn't a brilliant menu for me. I didn't eat much, in all honesty. Um, obviously, if you're in a food and you can eat whatever, you can 100% get your money's worth. As before kickoff, the lounge is open three hours before. So you've got three hours to eat as much as you can. Um, so if you like your food, there's a good amount of food there for you to eat. Um, now, unfortunately, though, before kickoff, your drinks aren't included. You have to pay for your drinks. And I got a pint of Carlsberg when I was there, and that was £5. So it is quite expensive to drink in there, but it's up to you, obviously, what you drink, whether you drink hot drinks, such as tea, coffee, and hot chocolates, we're free. But, like I said, it all depends what you want to drink yourself. Um, now, going on to why I got the ticker. I got the ticker so I had a credit for the game, in all honesty. I am, fingers crossed, we get to Dublin. I really want to make it there. So, this is my way of sort of trying to help me with credits to get there. Um, as I couldn't get a ticket, tried on the website, there wasn't anything available. Um, and with cup games like the Europa, the FA, the Carabao, I, just, I believe still if someone passes on a ticket to you, you don't get that credit. Um, it, the credit system at Liverpool is a whole other complicated system, which in the future I might do a video on and explain how 
ticket and works at Anfield along with the credit system um, but that'll be a video for another day um, so yeah that was honestly the only reason I bought it was that credit and also so I could do a video for you sort of showing off what it's like because there's not that many out there I believe that have videos on the hospitality so it's sort of I'm just showing what you're getting for what you're paying for now here's the big point do I think it was worth it for £200 only just um i struggled with deciding on if i was paying that or not in all honesty i went back and forth the whole day i was bought by the ticket going do i pay it do i not do i pay it do i not um and ultimately i did buy it just because i thought you know what i'll treat myself it's a one-off i can get a credit it's the cheapest that lounge ever is um and i'll get more into that in a minute um so for me that was why i got it now for Premier League games for this, you're looking, starting price is probably around 300 For big games, like the top six, the derby against Everton, obviously any Manchester side, you're looking over £500 for hospitality, which is ridiculous. Um, and I would never pay them sort of prices. Um, like I said, I struggled with the 200 Um, But I'm a, I go the match week in, week out. So I think if you do go the match quite a lot, hospitality i'd recommend avoiding it is it, in my opinion even at 200 pounds it wasn't worth the money but on the flip side if you're traveling all the way to liverpool just to go and watch a liverpool game and it's like your lifelong dream if in advance you can get a hospitality ticket i 100 percent recommend it because people that are traveling all the way to liverpool you probably is going to struggle with your membership to get a ticket um, I know you could try your supporters club, supporters clubs, local ones are really good at trying to help out local fans to get into Anfield um, but again they struggle so if you're struggling to get a ticket and you're going to travel in a way in advance look at hospitality because it does sell out quite a bit for that reason um, I'd recommend as soon as you know you're coming to Liverpool keep checking, keep checking, keep checking and trying to get a ticket because the hospitality prices a lot of the times are the same or cheaper than what people are selling for on these ticket websites um touting tickets selling them for extortionate prices um so i'd never recommend buying off them there's a lot of people who um get scammed get never get the tickets like don't buy from them. I'd rather people bought from hospitality than them. Um, so if you are travelling to Liverpool to one-off it's a life dream, I'd recommend hospitality, I really would. But I could never justify the amount of money it is, especially for people who go the match quite a bit. It's just ridiculous. Um, in my opinion, I don't know if I'm going to do hospitality again unless it is this price point that I paid and I'm desperate for a credit um, but yeah it was it was a good experience it's just the price of it is really off-putting for me um, I don't think the experience is worth anywhere close to £200 and then to think of how much it goes up for Premier League games it's a bit bad but yeah I, en I enjoyed the game I'm still a bit annoyed that I paid that much for it I'm not gonna lie but at the end of the day I got the credit which is why I bought it so I'm happy with that um let me know your thoughts down below would you pay for hospitality um depends on what your circumstances like it's just for me it's a mind-boggling amount of money that they charge week in week out for hospitality anyways there's my thoughts on hospitality there's my review i hope you enjoyed it um if you'd like more these sort of videos let me know um in the comments below and i'll definitely look into doing them i'm i'm thinking more doing more videos like these sitting down talking to the camera whether that's q and a's news updates any interesting stories stuff like that and um, but now time for the giveaway now this program is from the royal union i'm not even going to try and pronounce the whole french bit but it's from that game the other week in the europa league and like i said it is signed by jimmy case phil neal and becky easton from the women's team so pretty good legends on there i must say i am 
sort of sad I'm giving this away, but I thought, you know what, someone else can have it, they can put it up in the room, because as you can see, I haven't got much space anymore. Um, so if you want to win the program, all you have to do is be subscribed to the channel, and also down below it make it easier um i can't contact anyone through my youtube channel and it will only be me that reaches out to you whether that's through instagram or twitter now known as x um and my usernames on them is courtney underscore neary same as this channel name only i will reach out to you if anybody else reaches out to you saying you've won it's not them but now here's how it ends. Uh, um, comment down below your username for Twitter or Instagram and in a few weeks time I will pick someone out and I'll message you and I'll send it to you. Um, it's a nice bit of history to have. Um, like I said the legends on it. <sighs> really really looked out with the legends to be honest that we're in the hospitality lounge. Um, I absolutely love speaking to Phil Neal, I've spoken to him before, he's, like I said, Liverpool's most decorated player, a legend, um, Jimmy Case, a legend, Becky Easton, a legend, so I'm um, really, really excited to see who wins this, um, so yeah, like I said, be subscribed to the channel and comment down below your either Instagram username or your Twitter slash X username and I'll reach out to you if you've won, um, but yeah, with that being said, I'll see you all next time, um, which is the derby. Um, that's another video I could do with a whole situation on with the upper Anfield Road making it so difficult to get tickets for everyone, as well as taking tickets away from people. But yeah, I'll, um, I'll see you all next weekend anyway, no matter what.